We welcome in Huntington High School senior wide receiver, running back, defensive back, Dion Jackson. Welcome in, Dion. How you doing? We're doing fine. Uh, well, it looks like to me, with all those things I read about you, <laughs> Billy Seals wearing you out, boy. Excuse me? I said, it looks like to me, with everything you're doing with this football team, Coach Billy Seals is just wearing you out. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, he's doing a good job coaching. Most coaches are. They're doing good. You you like Coach Seals? Yeah, great coach. He's done a, He's done a lot of good things at Huntington High School, hasn't he? Yes, sir. A lot of hard work. I get uh, players in the college, and he's just a good coach in general, good person outside of coaching. Well, Dion, let's take a look at this Huntington Ball Club heading into the playoffs, and you'll be taking on George Washington in the first round. Last three weeks of the regular season, weeks 8, 9, and 10, the Highlanders scored a total of 171 points. Boy, offensive explosion the last three weeks. Now, offensively for yourself, you lead the team in, in pass receptions. You have over 300 yards rushing on the year. So you're right in the mix, 171 points the last three weeks. And uh, talk about the offense. Where do those points come from? Well, our line is doing uh, better. You know, the quarterback's doing better, too. And it's also the play calling. So we try to execute. As the weeks are going by, we're just getting better as a team. So we've been able to execute a little better. Dion, what uh, what were your expectations coming into this season just uh, as a team? And, and Huntington's had so much success over the last few years and, and obviously the, the run to the state championship game. But uh, what were your expectations as a group this season? Was it to get back to Wheeling and, and try and finish it off this time around? Oh, yes, sir. That's always my expectation is to go to Wheeling. You know, we lose, we lost uh, two games in the middle of the season, but we're still, we still can be a, a state championship team uh, focused a lot of hard work, and then we can get there. Dion, yeah, with with your record of eight and two, it, it is obvious that uh, Coach Seals and his staff puts a lot of emphasis on defense. And defensively, you guys have really, really played well this season. Yes, sir. Seals, uh, um, they they uh, study a lot of films. Uh, they just it helps us be able to know what teams are doing, and it's just like we already know the plays they're going to run because we've been studying film all week long. So they really spent a lot of hours uh, in the film preparing us so you can know what's going on. Well, you know, you've had three shutouts this season and you've had three other games where you've held opponents to under 10 points. So in 60% of the, the games you've played defensively, the teams have scored uh, less than 10 points or been shut out. So Talk about getting in the right place and studying the film, but, but there's some athletes out there on defense for Huntington. Or they're flying to the ball and making some plays. Talk about that defensive side that uh, Fred was kind of alluding to. Oh, We got a lot of uh, great players. We got young players also, players that are going to be, make a lot of noise next year. Uh, guys pretty strong DBs or linebackers, D-line. I mean, a couple of them are young, so they'll be, they'll be there next year. I yeah. Dion, how would you describe your role on this team? And Fred touched on it in the beginning. Dave mentioned your stats uh, with uh, the 300, over 300 rushing yards, uh, 700 receiving yards. You're involved in special teams as well, uh, a little bit of, of, of doing everything. But what's your role with this team? How would you describe it? Uh, well, there's a lot of playmakers, but I just try to do whatever I can to help the team win. Then whatever coach needs me to do, I do it for him. So. Wherever you decide to put me, I'm going to try to do my best at the, wherever you push me. All right, let me ask you this. Practice this week, you get a ball club that is in the MSAC, even though you guys did not play them this year. Uh, what's the coaching staff, what's the film showed you about George Washington so far this week? Well, they have a really good running back and also a really good receiver. So, I mean, it's going to be a tough game. We're a good team. We're a good team. It's going to, probably going to go down to field position and whoever win the turnover battle. And obviously getting this matchup, a 7 versus 10 seed, it's going to be a tight game. It's going to be close. And and uh, you talk about field position, but hanging on to that football, no turnovers to it. Uh, whoever wins the turnover battle could advance on to the state quarterfinals. Right. And that's what the coaches tell us. We got to we got to definitely try to win field position on kick returns, punt returns, and we try to uh, turn the ball over. We'll make them turn the ball over. 
What type of atmosphere? Sorry about that. What type of uh, an atmosphere are you looking to uh, coming up this weekend? Uh, I would imagine folks around there are excited to get the postseason underway. Oh yeah, it's probably gonna be a live game, but uh, really can't um, get into all that. Like while you're on the field, can't let the uh, crowd and the atmosphere affect you. You still gotta play hard.